I'm Land Alessandro, an 8th grade filmmaker at Bach Middle School of the Arts. Here's my drama short film entitled, Regrets. Shortcuts. Short film. Doors open. Hello, Mr. Jones. How are you? Nice to meet you, person. Thank you for coming down today. Appreciate yeah. your time. Yeah, thanks for thanks for having me. It's a pleasure you. to be here. All right, Mr. Jones, we're ready to get started with the first question. Absolutely. Go ahead and ask away. So, Mr. Jones, what was your relationship with George Bradford before the incident? Mr. Jones? Calvin? Are you with us, Mr. Jones? Calvin? Calvin? Time uh, I think we're playing the Jets today, 1 o'clock. So you gonna watch the game with us a little bit later? You know, I'm gonna try, man, but this work, it's just non-stop with me. Every time I get half of it done, I get another pile of work by the boss, and it just never ends, man. So, I haven't seen a football game in months, to tell you the truth. I don't know, man, I, I, I really can't relate. I don't got that issue. But what can you do? I mean, I got all these bills. It's all I can do to pay them. I'm barely staying afloat. Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones. Calvin. So I asked you the question already. What was your relationship with George Bradford before the incident? George and I were great friends. We would have been neighbors for 13 years. We used to take these fun hikes. And George was so adventurous. I would have never expected anything like that to happen. He was just so much fun. Such a great guy. Well, did you notice anything odd in the days leading up to the incident? So you're, you're going to come by around 8 p.m. for the, uh, the UFC fight, right? No, I wish I could, man. I wish I could, but I got so much on my plate right now. Work is just piling up and... Dude, seriously? I got work, man. What do you want? I don't know, maybe a friend that is around, that hangs out, isn't always working. I mean, that's literally all you do. You gotta be kidding me, man. Ser I mean, it's just, it's seriously mind boggling that, I mean, you, uh, how many times have we out, had you want to come over? And every single time, this is the situation. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, this job is just, it's, it's ruining you. you. You gotta figure out a plan, man. You gotta figure out a way. You don't have a social life. Your friends are wanting you around. I don't know what else to tell you. Once he got the news, it was as if he just started fading away. I didn't get it. It was like somebody was holding a gun to his head. He just kept working. Ignoring everyone. The cancer just started slowly deteriorating him. He pushed everybody away. His friends, his family. 
It's co-workers. It's so sad. It's sad to see it go away like that. It's faded away. And he was gone. Without a notice. Didn't say anything to anybody. 